All right, so hopefully today I'll be able to help you, some of you guys out with uh, your uh, photo losses, if you will. I mean, I'm sure everybody's been there when uh, we have uh, accidentally hit delete on our digital cameras and deleted almost 4 gigs worth of files for some reason. I mean, I honestly do not understand why uh, digital cameras have uh, that kind of feature. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, anyway, so I have lost many pictures in the past, and uh, I actually play, paid um, money for a program that you can basically get for free. I'm not going to name it because that one costs money, and this one did it. This is actually freeware anyway. So here is uh, Pandora Recovery, and I'll actually guide you through the whole process. quite simple, so, as, uh, so I'll demonstrate. Actually, um, I'll do a recovery on one of my files anyway. So we'll just hit, hit, hit next, and uh, you'll be amazed how many people do not empty the recycle bins. If you will, uh, I, uh, I clean computers for a living basically, well, part time anyway, just getting through school anyway. And uh, it's actually, this feature is actually the idiot moron proof theory 8, like, go look in your recycle bin, did you look, did you not empty it out? So, oh, uh, let's just empty those, I don't need those anyway. So I tend to empty my recycle bin on a daily basis anyways, because I just don't, I just have all files that I do not need anymore. So, but anyway, people have, uh, I think the most I've seen in a recycle bin was over like 10 gigs, and I think... Oh, I think the limit is 8, though. Might have been 8, but anyway. So I'll tell you to look in the recycle bin, so I actually force you to make sure it's not, not there. So, no, it's not there. I'm actually trying to recover um, a wallpaper that uh, I downloaded. So next. And uh, here's a flash drive I'll be recovering. I actually called the repair. It's one. It's a 1 gig flash drive uh, that I use on a daily basis when I recover PCs. So let me, let me open it up from the Windows system. So here's a repair, and uh, here are some programs I generally use. I had a wallpaper in here that I just deleted, and I'll be able to back it up, and uh, I'll, you'll see how it goes. So we'll simply hit next. It has uh, three types of scan. It has uh, this one is not very uh, successful, and the reason being is because if you're trying to recover anything else but pictures or documents, uh, generally they will not work. If you try to recover, because I, I try to recover Firefox 4.0, but since, you know, it gets updated so frequent between times where when I get clients, PCs, and etc., they don't work anymore, so I just simply download it again. So this one's not too reliable. And browse, it'll actually give you a whole list of the C drive, uh, this one, or, or whatever drive you have plugged into your computer. And it'll give you a list of all the files that have been deleted, and if you have the ability to recover them, but if you use your hard drive on a frequent basis, you'll actually overwrite it because, technically speaking, you do not delete anything, even 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 though you hit hit delete, and the picture is still there. You h you have to actually overwrite it with something else in order for it to be gone completely. So we're just gonna do a deep surface scan. So here's a flash drive selector repair, and we're simply gonna hit the recover it. Actually, there's there's some photos in there that I never thought that were there anyway. So. Generally, I do not save photos on a, on a one gig flash drive. I actually have a, a eighty gig uh, two point five portable hard drive that I have laying around somewhere. Yeah, well, anyway, uh, I think this might be it. Oh, see, here is a uh, Alpha Romeo wallpaper that I downloaded recently, so I'll just be able to recover it. So, as you can tell, let me show you the flash drive. Nothing in there. There's no pictures at all. So well, it's just easy as simply hitting recover, and I'll ask you to uh, recover the picture and put it in, so in, a, in another spot because they think you're gonna delete it again. But if you decide to put it in the, th in the same folder, repair, you know, simply hit okay, and recover now. I'll actually give you a warning. It says you are about to recover in the same drive that you lost the data resides on it. The file activity may ca cause partial or even permanent loss of your lost data. Do you want to proceed now? And yes, I want to proceed now. That so that's recovered, and there it is. Perfect. But a as it said, that you may damage or partially damage files that you already have deleted or might have placed in a recycle bin and deleted. So that means that if you try to do another recovery on the same picture or on a different picture that was on the list, it might not be as good as the inactivity you were doing, if that makes any sense. Basically what I said, it's going to take up more space and overwrite that lost data behind it, if you will, the data that's behind the background that's no longer needed. So the computer will see it as a, it's okay 
to overwrite that data because you decided to delete it. And when you have actual files on the flash drive that are present and you actually can click on, you won't delete those because the computer does not recognize it as it's okay to delete. So those are that's why you can see the icons and you can click on them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's why you can see it. So it won't uh, it won't annoy you with that mumble jumble. So just go go ahead. So hopefully I help some people out and it's actually for free on uh, download.com or you probably can Google it anyway. But I'll just leave a link behind so you can download it. So thanks for watching.